Hello everyone, it is spring, it is sunny most of the time and it is windy so it is the perfect season to fly a kite. That's why this week in our STEM activity we are going to get our engineering hands to work and we are going to build our own kite. For that you're going to need two sticks. I went for a walk in the forest and found these two branches on the ground. They are perfect. They should not be too thick, so they are heavy. Thin are good. You can take it in your hands and if they are not very heavy, that's good. We are going to need some rope. I have this rope, I have this one and I have this one and this one. To show you, you can use any kind of rope. This time I'm going to use this one. Plastic bag. I'm going to use a plastic bag because I don't have glue and if you're going to use paper I'd recommend oven paper and for that you need really good glue. I already made one right you see and I use oven paper and glue. This time I'm going to use a plastic bag. Tape scissors and I'm going to use a marker pen to draw. Now let's get started. First with the two sticks you have you have to make sure that one is about 10 centimeters longer than the other. More or less. 10 is this much. From zero to 10 in a ruler. So if this one, this one is actually 12 centimeters longer, which is good, it can work. Now we make a cross. Try to make it as balanced as possible. You see that this side and this side have more or less the same size on both sides. So, and this should be fine. What do you think? Now I'm going to use this rope. You might need a lot of help here. This is a nice activity for the whole family together because it's easier if you have help. I used to do this every spring with my dad when I was a child. So you first make a knot there and now you secure it. from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. I'm not going to make any dent here to help me with this process, but I, if you, if you have a grown-up who can help you, it would be good. It helps the rope stay there. My branch has little knots on those that are going to help in this case. Some glue, like the arts and craft glue, glue that works so good and for um, strings and all materials, it's a good help. You can also put some glue on those tips and then make the knots around. So the glue helps to keep the, the rope there.
we have our shape. Now we can make our bag. Take the scissors and cut it open from the sides. Now we have an open bag. Let's see if this bag is big enough. As you can see, the kite is very big and my bag is a little bit small. But let's see. Now the next step, that's why I had a marker, is to draw the shape of the kite. Make sure you leave space between the kite and where you draw the line so that then you can fold it over the string when we blow the, bike, the kite. We can make this line. Now I'm going to put this away here so that I can cut. I'm going to put this on the side and I have my kite shape. So you fold it over just like this and this is where you use some stick tape. If you are using paper instead of the bag you can use glue. Now, it is time to make sure that all the corners are very well attached. So I'm going to add some extra tape here to this corner. Look at this make a little hole just to put in some thread. I'm going to use this yellow one for that. Also, Now we are going to bring string from here, here, here and here, all of them to the center. To the center. And we cut. And we do the same with all the sides. Now our kite is almost ready. In this step it's very important that this part, the sticks are up. You see, so when the, the kite flies, it flies this way. Now we need to make a tail. Usually for the tail you use a very long piece of fabric. You can also make knots. For the tail I'm going to use this old t-shirt that I have. So, and I'm going to cut around five centimeters thick, this much, from zero to five. So now, we are going to make a knot. We can make a knot here. 
Now we turn this over and we make a knot here. Now the only thing missing is the flying string. For that, I'm going to use this. I already have the ball and I think it's long enough. So I'm going to make a knot here and my kite is ready to fly. Let's go outside and check it. Okay, guys, now we are outside. It's good if you go somewhere hilly where there is nice wind and no trees to fly your kite. Let's go and try. So now we've tried a few times. The wind is not so perfect today and our kite got broken. Look, I had to fix it a little bit. That can happen. Then it requires the engineering skills to fix it. That's science. And just be patient, keep trying. The wind will come and it's better if you run towards the wind. You run towards the wind and it will help the, the kite fly. Our trial outdoors was it so successful. The wind was coming from too many places. It was coming from here and here at the same time. And it wasn't very steady. There was some moments that it was windy, some moments there was no wind at all. But it helps if you run. I was a bit lazy and I didn't run. But if you run, it helps to make the kite fly. You just keep trying. This is fun activity for all the family and you just need to be patient. I hope to see lots of videos and pictures of you making your kite and flying it and having fun with it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Adatros Daycare, and see you next time. Bye bye.